Yes. Our topic is learning to be single-minded. My friends, are you confused today and unable to take any strong decisions in terms of your relationship, in terms of your marriage, your job, and bad habits? Are you living in a confused state of mind and struggling to focus on one thing at a time? Or are you always struggling with too many different opinions and unable to do what you wanted to do? Our devotion comes to us from James chapter 1, 68. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. My friends, single-mindedness helps you to stay focused on the task at hand. Single-mindedness inspires increased productive by capitalizing on small wins early in the process. Single-mindedness removes distractions from your environment. Single-mindedness provides its self-reinforcing motivation based upon the result you achieve. And single-mindedness allows you to accomplish more in less time. Being single-minded has to do with the power of focus. Your ability to focus is ultimately your biggest ally in comprising tasks and projects. My friends, the question for today's meditation is how to learn to be single-minded. Number one, James chapter 1 verse 9, think one at a time. My friends, many times you are unable to take a tangible decisions just because you are confused with too many thoughts at a time, too many opinions at a time, too many suggestions at a time. Just decide to think one at a time. When it is not beneficial or when it is not feasible, do not just dive into so many opinions, but dive into another problems and another opinion. One of the reasons for the depression and anxieties are because of confused state of mind. Your mind can process one thing at a time. Therefore, choose one thought which should be positive and optimistic. Number two, Luke 9 verse 62. Never turn back even at failures. My friends, just because your attempt and try become failures, it doesn't mean you have to give up your life. Just because your choices were your wrong decisions, because your relationship became wrong, doesn't mean you have to feel you are incapable and incompetent. Keep trying until you achieve your goal. Don't fear tomorrow or regret the past. Live for what's now and never look back. Don't look back unless you can smile. Don't look ahead unless you can dream. And number three, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. Do what you know. My dear brothers and sisters, your spouse may think you are an irrational being. Your children may mock at you, saying you are less knowledgeable. Your work officers may say you are not fit for this work. Don't worry about all those things. Don't worry about all those abusive words. Just keep practic practicing what you know. Although it is good to try what you don't know, it is important to keep doing what you know in order to have positive mind and positive results. My friends, remember, you are always better than what you think. And remember, you are always capable of doing more than what you think to do. Never underestimate yourself. 
no matter what people say or think about you. Don't give up. Rather, keep moving step after step. Here is the hope for you today. From Hebrew chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we, have, we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, there is somebody here confused because of the family crisis. There is somebody who is so confused because of the financial instability. Please, dear Lord, help them to have self-minded, single-minded. Help them to have a greater focus on one thing at a time so that they will be able to understand and focus the targets that is set before them. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for motivating us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.